version 3.2.3 of Audacity has been released, and I want to take a closer look at a couple of things in it in this video. Hey friends, Mike Adams here with Learn Audacity. Version 3.2.3 has been released. I made a previous video about this, but I ended up removing it because I had some weird stuff happen to me, and I wanted to research that a little bit further before I released another video. So we'll talk about that in this video as well. But mainly, I just want to talk about what's changed in version 3.2.3 of Audacity, which isn't a whole lot. And yet, if this is a bug that I discovered, it might be something worth looking into further. But let's take a look at the screen that I have open. I have a, just a lame piece of audio here that I recorded a few minutes ago so that we can put some effects on it. And part of what happened to me in the last video is when I went to put effects on this, or on any piece of audio, my effects drop-down window looked a lot different. I didn't change anything. Now, I know you can go in preferences and change the way that this looks, but I hadn't changed anything. Nothing had changed. I've been using it the same way for a long time. So when I opened up version 3.2.3 and it displayed this drop-down menu to me, I assumed that it had been a change by part of the change in version 3.2.3 of Audacity. But what I think happened is somewhere along the line, there's been an option called default that has been added to the way that we view this. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click out of here and let's go over here to preferences and let's open up the preferences window. And if you come down to effects, you can see you can select the kind of effects that you want to have present in that menu. And then you can sort it or group it. Now I'm not sure when this default option took effect or became part of Audacity, but I went back to version 2.4.2. Yes, I still have version 2.4.2 on my Mac. And I opened it up and there's no default setting there. It doesn't exist. The other uh, ways to sort are there, but there's nothing called default. Well, when I opened up Audacity 3.2.3 for the first time, evidently it went to this default selection. And evidently the default selection that's there, I'm going to cancel out of this. Evidently that default selection is this, when you look at the uh, effect drop-down window. Why mine changed to default, I don't know. It kind of caught me by surprise. But you can see here that if you do use that default option, that your effects now are grouped by type. So if we look at the volume and compression, we can see there that we have Amplify and Auto Duck and the compressor and limiter and our two methods for loudness normalization. And then fading is, you know, fade in, fade out, track crossfade, pitch and tempo, something I don't use in spoken word recordings, but you might. And then under EQ and filters, we have, you know, the stuff that's related to uh, frequency, to voice frequency specifically for spoken word content. And then our noise removal and repair, it's all there. It's just organized different. Now, I know in that previous video that I ended up taking down, there were a couple of comments of people that uh, installed 3.2.3 and they didn't see this. Again, I'm on a Mac, so I can't tell you what it looks like in Windows. But if you want your menu to start looking like this, I guess just select that default option in Preferences and you should have your wish from there. You can also see here that down below the line, I'm separated by vendor. But that's the way those options are grouped now. Those effects are grouped now if you choose default. I'm going to leave mine at default because I kind of like the way it cleaned it up. So for me, that kind of took some of the mystery out of what happened. Because again, when I started 3.2.3 the other day for the first time, I hadn't changed anything. And it just came up that way. And I thought, well, this is interesting. It must be a part of the upgrade. So I went back to a couple of earlier versions that I have in the 3.0. whatever. Uh, family and that default is there and knows as well so i mean i'm not sure if it if it writes that backwards if it's backward compatible or what but uh it does come up default now so if you want to change that now you know how to change it but let me show you one thing that is new here if we go over to the view drop down menu and we come down to toolbars you can see here that there's an option to view the cut copy paste toolbar some of you had commented to me about that in different venues. I don't remember if it was here or if it was in the classes that I teach or if it was in both, but some people had mentioned that they missed that cut, copy, paste toolbar, and they didn't want to use uh, keyboard strokes to do the same thing. So in this version of 3.2.3, we can now bring this back. So if I just simply select cut, copy, paste toolbar, then it puts the cut, copy, paste toolbar back, and it puts it right here next to the audio setup button. 
And while we're in the view menu, let me come back up. This is not new to 3.2.3. It's been there for a while. But even though we have the audio setup button and the share audio button, you don't have to look at those if you don't want to. I know a couple of people have mentioned that too, that they miss having the device toolbar. Well, guess what? The device toolbar is right here. So if I go ahead and I click on the device toolbar, it puts it right back where it's always been. So I can get back to it. Now, if I don't want the audio setup button and the share audio button, I can come back up to view and toolbars and I can deselect those two right here at the bottom and those will disappear. And then at that point, my interface is going to look really similar to how it used to look back in the olden days. And again, this isn't something that's new in version 3.2.3. It's something that's, you know, been there for a while. I think 3.2.0 was when the share audio toolbar and the audio setup toolbar were given to us, right? So if this has been there at least that long, you could go back in and turn those off. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect that device toolbar just to free up a little bit more space here on my screen. And then one more thing I want to bring to your attention because some people have mentioned it as well. The microphone and speaker volume controls, which used to have their own little toolbar, have now been incorporated into the meter toolbars. And you can see them right up here. So we have sliders for playback and we have a slider for record. And if I move these sliders, you can see that the percentage changes. So I can see what percentage I'm at as I'm moving the slider. So those are just a couple of little cleanup items if you want to take care of those in version 3.2.3. Again, the volume controls are not part of the 3.2.3 upgrade. They've been there since, I think, 3.2.0 or maybe 3.2.1. But they're definitely not new to 3.2.3. I just wanted to point those out to you and let you know that they're there. I wanted to show you that you can bring back the device toolbar if you want. I wanted to show you that you can remove the audio setup button and the share audio button and the cut copy paste toolbar is back if you want to use it. So that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you all have a happy new year. Be safe and until next time, take care.